If you have a Medicare supplement, then you know that typically each year your premium goes up. Today, we're going to go over recent Medicare supplement rate increases and yes, some decreases. Hi, I'm Chris Prying, the Medicare analyst, licensed insurance agent based out of Charlottesville, Virginia, and licensed in numerous other states as well, which you will see later in this video. I represent every major insurance company that offers Medicare plans. And my goal is simple, it is to help you make a wise and confident decision about all of your Medicare choices. I do this by reviewing your healthcare needs and philosophies along with your budget and then enroll you in the plan or the plans of your choice. If today is your birthday, then happy birthday to you. Oscar Wilde said, the old believe everything, the middle aged suspect everything, and the young know everything. Medicare supplement rates are based on either attained age, the rate is determined by your current age, and most Medicare supplement plans are this way. The second way is issue age, the rate is determined by the age you were when you got the policy, so the rate won't go up because you went up in age, it will go up for other reasons. And number three is community rated, the rate is the same for everyone within a certain geographic area or policy pool. If the majority are healthy and don't make a lot of claims, then the rates may stay lower. If the majority are unhealthy, which is likely the case, then rates will be higher. There are two reasons why supplement premiums go up. One is increased costs due to healthcare inflation, excessive claims within the pool of policy holders or block of business, and increases in Medicare deductibles and co-payments. And number two, as already mentioned, you go up in age. You've attained a new age. This is only for supplements that base their rates on attained age, which is most common. The bad news is you can't do anything about either one. The good news is if your rate has gone up 50% or more, then you have the option to apply for a policy at a lower rate, a lower rate that would save you thousands of dollars over time. But in most states, you have to medically qualify to get a new policy at a lower rate. While you can't do anything about your age or healthcare inflation, you may be able to do something about your overall health and that would give you a better chance of getting approved and saving thousands of dollars. Plus, you'd feel better. So to start, we are purely looking at new business rate adjustments and increases, meaning how much has a company increased its start rate for new policies since it last made an adjustment. We are not looking at how much existing or enforced policies have increased, but we will discuss that later. Since 2015, the average Medicare supplement new business rate increase has trended up from an average of just 3% to 5.5% currently. The average for January MedSup rate increases has gone from an average of 2.1% in 2015 to 7.6% here in January of 2024 when I am recording this video. So on this chart, you will see the average Plan G rate actions by company. On average, United Healthcare had the least overall increases, but so you know, United Healthcare slash AARP typically has higher start rates than its competitors. It's rare that the first year premiums on an AARP United Healthcare MedSup are near the lowest. Whereas Cigna and Mutual Omaha are on the higher end for new business rate increases, but Mutual Omaha is typically competitive when it comes to having some of the lowest rates. And on this chart, you'll see that the rate increases for the Plan G are generally higher in the states that have a birthday rule. A birthday rule means that you have a guaranteed right to change your Medicare supplement around the time of your birthday or the anniversary of your policy. And in some states, any time of year. Consequently, these states that offer some form of guaranteed issue past 65 and a half typically have higher premiums than states that don't offer a guaranteed issue past 65 and a half. So as of January 2024, for the companies that have filed with their respective states, the average increase for a new business policy was 6.45%. Let's take a look at just a few of the more major Medicare supplement carriers, Aetna and or one of its subsidiaries. So Aetna Health and Life went up 7.5% in Arizona and Utah. Aetna Health went up 11.3% in Oklahoma and Texas. Continental Life went up 13.6% in various states and plans. Bankers Fidelity Assurance Company went up 7.2% in Colorado, Kentucky, and Oklahoma. Bankers Fidelity Life Insurance Company was up 9.5% in Montana. And Bankers Life Insurance Company up 2.3% in New York. What about the Blues? Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York went up 6.4%. In New York, Blue Shield of Northeastern New York went up 1.3% in New York. Florida Blue went up 11.5%. Cigna was up 5.6% in Arkansas, California, and North Dakota, up 6.6% in Kentucky and Maryland. 
Humana up 4.4% in various plans and states, and their Achieve plan was up 6.8%, and that varies depending on the state and plan. Manhattan Life was up 10.2%, and that varies depending on the state and the plan. Medico was up 2.5% in Oklahoma and Virginia, and up a whopping 0% in Kentucky. Mutual Omaha and or one of its subsidiaries was up 3.5% in New York, Oklahoma, and Virginia. United World Life Insurance Company was up 0% in Kentucky and New Hampshire. And Transamerica was up 5.6% and that varies depending on the state and the plan. By the way, I hope you're finding this valuable and you like this kind of information. If so, please like this video and subscribe for future videos about maximizing your Medicare and retirement insurance. But what about your existing in-force Medicare supplement? How much should you expect that to increase year over year? What you wanna hope for is about a two to 10% rate increase each year, but plan for a 15% rate increase each year. And don't be surprised if every once in a while, your rate goes up 20% in one year. Typically, the Plan G goes up faster than the Plan N, and the Plan N goes up faster than the high deductible G. So over time, the premium difference between a G and an N gets greater and greater. What should you do if your initial rate has gone up at least 50%? Unless you live in one of the states that offers some guaranteed issue right for Medicare supplements, then review these conditions that would cause an automatic decline. See the link in the description for conditions that may cause an auto decline. If you have no apparent health issues that would cause an automatic decline, and if you live in one of the states that I'm licensed in, then reach out to me to get a free rate quote and see if it makes sense to apply for a new lower price supplement. See my video on Plan G versus the Plan N and my video on when to change or drop your Medicare supplement plan. Do you live in one of these 12 states that offer some form of guaranteed issue right? Then it may be a very good idea to compare your rates every few years to make sure you have the lowest rate possible from a good, reputable company. If your rate has gotten to a point where it's a real burden for you, then you can carefully consider switching to a Medicare Advantage plan during the annual election period in the fall. But let's have a serious conversation before you do that. I can tell you plenty of horror stories that people have had Medicare supplements and they switched to a Medicare Advantage plan and didn't know what happened. As a matter of fact, one of my long-term clients called me today and that happened to her just recently. Thankfully, we are going to fix that. So what have you experienced for rate increases? Put that in the comment section below. And when you need help or if you ever need help making a wise choice when it comes to all of your Medicare insurance options and you live in one of the states that I'm licensed in, then please feel free to reach out to me either by phone or through one of my contact forms on my website. And we will have an open and honest conversation about your healthcare needs and philosophies and budget. I'll do my best to answer any questions and concerns that you may have. Once we determine what is best for your unique needs and budget, I will then enroll you in the plan or the plans of your choice. And of course, be available down the road for your support. And if you happen to live within about an hour to an hour and a half or so of the Charlottesville, Virginia area, and you'd like to meet in person, then please reach out to me and we can probably work that out. That is it for today. If you want to stay up to date and gain more insight on maximizing your Medicare insurance, then please consider subscribing. And who do you know who may benefit from this info? Please consider sharing it with them. I'm Chris Brang, the Medicare analyst. Make it a great day.